In this video, we will go over the purpose of a panel schedule, how to create a panel schedule, and how to export panel schedules. A panel schedule is used to indicate the circuits feeding the transformer and relays, the voltage and phase of those circuits, the maximum volt amps of each relay, and the volt amps of each load. It also provides a numbered label for each relay, the number of poles that it controls, the type of relay that it is, the load name, and the location of voltage barriers necessary to separate emergency circuits. All this information is necessary to ensure that the panel is wired appropriately to allow proper control of every load. To create a panel schedule, a panel must first be included in a design page. Select one of your designs and zoom into the area where the panel is needed. Click the Products tab and you can type in the part number for the panel in the search window. Or, if you do not know the part number for the panel that you need, click the Browse Acuity Brands Products button and a product selection window will open. Select the Enlight folder, Panel, then ARP for Acuity Relay Panel. Every ARP panel option will be displayed on the right. Select the panel that is needed, click OK, then select the panel under the control section in the left side panel and left click in the appropriate location in the design to place the panel and right click to exit from the product selection. Left click on the ARP panel to highlight it, then go to the design tab in the top menu and click on panel schedules. The catalog and size will already be pre-populated for you. For the type, select Relay 1 column for 8 and 16 relay panels and select Relay 2 column for 32 and 48 relay panels. Then click on Create Panel. The line column is used to enter the name of the breaker panel feeding the relay. The feed column is used to enter the circuit number within that breaker panel. Every ARP panel with FCR relays are single pole by default. If two pole or three pole circuits need to be controlled, change the appropriate relay to have the appropriate number of poles. For catalog, the relay options available are FCR or SPR. For empty spaces, keep the default text of space for those slots. The voltage column is used to enter the voltage provided by the appropriate circuit feeding the relay. If relays will be fed by emergency circuits, click the appropriate checkbox under the EM column. Under the load column, enter the lights that will be controlled by the relays. And for the zone column, enter a zone name or reference if the load will be controlled in conjunction with other loads. Additional columns that can be included in the panel schedule can be found under the columns drop-down menu. The address or device ID, phase, Volt Amp Estimate and Volt Amp Max are unchecked by default, but they can be included by clicking on them. To remove any of the columns, click the appropriate option under the column menu. To add a voltage barrier, click in any cell immediately below where the voltage barrier is required and click on the voltage barrier button up above. To remove it, repeat the same steps used to add it. To export the panel schedule into an Excel spreadsheet, click Export Panel up above. Enter a name for the file and click Save. To include one or more panel schedules into a title block, Right-click on Supplemental and select New Print Page. Click on the Panel Schedules drop-down menu, select the appropriate design, and select the panel schedule to attach it to the cursor and click inside of the title block to place it. Follow these steps for every panel in your design. Then click File, Print, Uncheck Select All to deselect all items, 
Then click on the panel schedules page that was created and click on to PDF to export the panel schedule. Remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new instructional videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at support at visual-3d.com.